Welcome back. We are here in the Rice's Appliance Kitchen with Chef Jesus from Columbia Restaurant. All right, Chef, this has smelled amazing all hour. What are we making? All right, we're going to make the Paella Valencia. Yes, your Paella. Okay. Great. So, you're going to be happy. Candice is going to get Good. started. Yeah. All right, so we're going to put the sofrito. So. Okay. All right, sofrito sauce. Ooh. So nice and hot. Peppers and onions and spices? Yes. Okay. All the good stuff right there. Yum. You know, I have actually had paella in Valencia. So oh, I'm, really? Yes, wow. it's, yes. So oh. I'm, I'm excited. All right, so now we're going to okay. add the pork. All, all right, of it? So, yeah, all of it. Several different types of meat headed in. Yeah, we okay. got pork, we got chicken. Pork. Okay. And we got chicken. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, do you make this like by the vat in the restaurant, just tons <laughs> no, and tons No, actually tons. what you're saying is what, what, my, what we do. So we heat up the, the paella pan, we put the sofrito, then we add the rest of the ingredients. So when I ordered it, it's made pan by pan yes. by pan. Yes, wow. we do. Yeah. I love so right now that. You can, we're going to sear it, it so you just mix it up. Right. And that's what makes it so good, is that it's fresh cooked every time. Yeah, that's why we always tell them that we give us at least 30 minutes for it uh, to okay. cook. Okay, yeah. that's great to So know. right now we're just going to... Ooh, Do it already quick. smells delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna add the, the rice. Okay. Oh, before the seafood. Yes. Just we're all. Gonna make, yeah, all of it. Just gotta make sure that the rice gets all so the flavor too. So it cooks too. right in there. I did not. Yes, yeah, it I didn't know now that you can either. Stir it again. Hold That's it right here. Interesting. And you don't, because I'm always like putting rice in water to cook it. I <laughs> guess you don't have to do that. Well, yeah, we're gonna add more water to okay. it now. All right, now we're going to add the seafood, Okay. which is calamaris and uh, scallops. Calamari and scallops. So many different things oh, in here. Oh, mm, yeah. Love calamari and scallops. And stir it. And what is the, the influence from Valencia in this particular paella? Uh, it's from the region, from where they usually make it, and that's oh what gosh, the popular. The, that's what they usually sell it like, with yeah. the, all the ingredients. All the seafood, yeah. obviously. Yes. Okay. Oops, sorry. And we're going to do it. Grab some mussels, okay. and we're gonna add the water. Okay. A little water in mm -hmm. there. Oh wow, that looks good. All right, now we're gonna stir it again, so okay. everything's all uh, nice and stir. I yeah. like that it's one pot cooking too. Yeah, that's yes. amazing. And this is a really good paella pan for it. Now normally, would you keep the stuff in there a little bit longer before yeah, you right add now, the other? Uh, yeah, right now, usually we're just gonna make it boil. Okay. And then after it boils, you're gonna stick it in the oven for 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay. okay. But because we don't have enough time. Because it's TV. Yeah. <laughs> so that you off, get the right sear menu. here, and then you yes. do the rest of it on the oven. Well, oh, while you're pulling that out neat. of the oven, I want to point out why September is such a special month I here at Columbia this. Restaurant. They do get something called their Community Harvest, which is so important. Okay. So during the month of September, we can pick a non profit of our choice yes you do and you will donate five percent and you don't you don't put that extra 5%. The Colombia itself, don't, don't, don't oh, stir it. Oh, don't stir it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Colombia <laughs> takes Columbia the 5%. itself takes the 5% it. uh, for whatever uh, you're the, the non-profit of, non of your choice. The non choice. And there's 17 of them, so you can choose any one of them. And I know that one of them that's very involved is Suncoast Charity for Children, who, of course, um, oh, is, in, is part of the, the Suncoast Grand Prix and right. Thunder by the Bay and does so many great, great things for our area. So that's awesome. 5% of our lunch or dinner check go uh, right to, um, to the charities. Which that's is wonderful. great because, you know what, there's no better time to go and enjoy dinner at the Columbia anyway. But when you do it in September, you're also donating to a non-profit yeah. all at the same time. So I like that concept, right? Yes. We win. They win, you win, everybody yes. wins. So thank you to yeah. Columbia for doing that. We're oh, winning right now because oh paella gosh. is on the menu. What a great way to start. Just to Good anybody job. that isn't familiar with Columbia, closest one in our area, of course, thank you, so out on St. Armand Circle and their famous 1905 salad, always on the menu. My favorite thing is that they sell the salad dressings and the sangria mix and their special spices. So you can do some of this cooking at home this if you would like. Good. Smells so good. Absolutely. I'm passing you a sangria some. down here thank you. as well. So many great things to enjoy That's at Columbia. Perfect. But thank you for bringing it in. Thank you My for pleasure. giving back to the community of as course. part of Columbia Harvest. And remember, that is through September 30th. All the more reason to go visit them out on St. Armand Circle. Is so it too early for sangria? No. <laughs> no, that's how we'll get this Jolly. Monday going. It's kind yeah. of like a fruit juice. So starting <laughs> like, in the morning. Exactly. It's healthy. So good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We are kicking off our week great with Columbia Restaurant. Hopefully you are doing the same. Enjoy the rest of your day and take some time and enjoy the Sun Coast view. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya.